So Judge Emmett Sullivan just issued a court order in the Postal Service litigation over delivery of election mail. He required Postmaster General Louis DeJoy to certify that no ballot was left behind. Words to live by. Let's talk about that. Because counting every ballot, like justice, matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So I've talked a good bit about Judge Emmett Sullivan, a federal district court judge in Washington, D.C., who has been handling, presiding over a number of the high profile cases that have come out of the, you know, the Trump administration. He, of course, is handling the Mike Flynn case where Mike Flynn pled guilty. Judge Sullivan prepared to sentence him. And then Bill Barr stepped in and said, no, I'll be dismissing this case. And Judge Sullivan said, not in my courtroom, you won't. So the same Judge Sullivan, as you probably know, is presiding over the litigation concerning the U.S. postal system and most pointedly corrupt Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, who has been intentionally slowing delivery of the mail in a transparent attempt to interfere in the election and inject chaos into the election. So just today, Judge Sullivan issued a really important order in the Postal Service litigation. And first of all, here is the headline reporting about Judge Sullivan's order. This from the Hill. Federal judge orders U.S. Postal Service to rush delivery of mail ballots as deadlines near and here is a piece of that reporting. U.S. District Court Judge Emmett Sullivan, who has presided over several lawsuits aimed at Postal Service election mail delays, gave the Postal Service until 3 p.m. today to ensure that no ballots have been held up in regions that have been slow to process mail ballots. Now, let me read a piece of Judge Sullivan's actual order that he just entered today in the Postal Service litigation. Quote, it is hereby ordered that beginning no later than 12.30 p.m. Eastern time today, the defendants, that would be Louis DeJoy, shall send postal inspectors to processing facilities in the following districts and direct them to sweep the facilities beginning at 12.30 p.m. through 3 p.m. today to ensure that no ballots have been held up and that any identifiable ballots are immediately sent out for delivery. And then Judge Sullivan lists the districts, Central Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Detroit, Colorado, Wyoming, Atlanta, Houston, Alabama, Northern New England, Greater South Carolina, South Florida, Lakeland, and Arizona. And then the judge adds an enforcement mechanism, which I love. By 4.30 p.m. today, defendants will file a status update certifying compliance with this court order that a sweep was conducted and that no ballots were left behind. Let's remember that phrase, folks, from Judge Sullivan. No ballots were left behind because isn't that kind of what America is all about? Isn't that the, the sort of bedrock of our democracy. All votes will be counted. No ballots will be left behind, particularly by a corrupt president who appointed a criminal postmaster general for this very purpose to try to make sure some ballots were left behind. Let's remember that phrase by Judge Sullivan. And what's at stake here, folks? Well, let me jump back to the Hill article because here is just some of what's at stake. Quote, roughly 300,000 ballots that received a scan indicating that they were entered into the mail processing system 
showed no corresponding destination scan that would confirm their delivery, according to an analysis of Postal Service data by the NAACP, one of the groups involved in this litigation. So that's just some of what is at stake. How will this all end up? Well, let me talk very briefly about two legal principles that are going to come into play. The first one is what's called a show cause order. When a court issues an order, a directive to a defendant, as Judge Sullivan just did, the judge will generally require the defendant to prove that every aspect of the order has been fully complied with. And if not, then the judge can issue what's called a show cause order where a defendant will be required to show cause why he shouldn't be held in contempt for failing to fully comply with the court's order. So Louis DeJoy may be looking down the business end of a show cause order from Judge Sullivan in the near future. The other legal principle um, that I think is in play here regarding the corruption, the abject corruption of Louis DeJoy. Quote, whoever, being a postal service employee or officer, unlawfully delays any letter, postcard, package, or mail entrusted to him shall be imprisoned for not more than five years. Yeah. 18 United States Code, Section 1703, a portion of which I just read, is also in play and should be awaiting Louis DeJoy as soon as Trump is run out of office by we the people who are voting in numbers too big to rig and too real to steal, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are sworn in in January. Yeah. That should be in play as well for Louis DeJoy, who may need to go to the jail. Folks, happy Election Day. Uh, I know we're still at the polls. They haven't closed yet. By the time you're watching this, I'm sure they will have and we'll all be home watching the election results. We're going to win this one. We're going to win this one. And then in January, justice. Because justice matters. Please stay safe, folks. I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.